is the tamest little bird I've ever seen. Peep, peep, peep. Funny little thing. Of all the places I've slept in my car so far, this is the best. At this viewpoint all to myself. The mighty Snowden Massif. My name is Brave Dave and today I think I will be smashing that beast again. Trifan, but not just Trifan. I'm gonna go over it, down it, and then up that one behind it. It's a ridge called Bristly Ridge and I've never done it before. So today it's gonna be a lot of scrambling. Right, I'm kitted out. I'm ready to do this. Boop, boop. And off we go. In about two minutes, I'm going to be very sweaty. Ten minutes. We're covering ground pretty quick. <sighs> Definitely warmed up now. <laughs> oh, this is not the usual way, I can tell you that. I've never climbed this bit before. Hey, I came out for a scramble. That's what I'm gonna get. Oh yeah. Oh. Wow. Twenty minutes, thirty seconds. Thirty minutes. I thought I'd lost the count at first because I came up a slightly different route, but here it is. Okay, one. Um, what, you want to get a picture? Yeah, go for it. Oh, oh yeah, it's really smooth. Ah, such a relaxed pose. I'm really at ease. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Um, I don't, but by email. That's nice. That guy just offered to take a picture of me. He's going to email it to me. <laughs> Boom! Still got a bit to go. Forty minutes. It's really difficult to look up and plan the route when the sun is just blinding you in the eyes. Oh. Whoa! Don't pull too hard on that! Bloody hell! Oh 
Oh man. What am I doing? This is not a route. I'm not Alex Honnold. <laughs> Shit. The key to staying alive is to know when you're beaten and find a different route. Looks much better. Not far now, surely. Finally. Okay, guys. 56 minutes. Some it smells good up here. No, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm all right, thanks, mate. Just you on the internet, have you shown on YouTube? Yeah, I think you what have. Do you think of it? Dave. Dave. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Normally I'm a Snowden, but I thought about trip on today, yeah. and here you are. It's a beautiful day. <laughs> oh man, so lucky to get a day like this. Low flying jets flying all around, all the way up. Right. It's recording. I have been at the top of Trivan for about two hours, enjoying the weather and clear, clear skies and stuff. Got chatting to Mark, who's the guy who got a picture of me on the cannon. He's a professional photographer. He's got massive camera out here, which is the go. perfect day for it on that size thing. Blue sky all day long. We're just coming down the south side of Trivan now, and I am looking at Bristly Ridge, trying to work out how I get up there. Mark's boots are falling apart though, so he won't be joining us. Well, not. not today. Oh yeah, and uh, he also recognised me from YouTube earlier. I did. Like, after you'd taken the picture on the cannon. I said, hey, that's that superstar. Hey, there's that mega superstar who puts out a new video once every six months. I can't go to Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I can't go to Canada. Although he tells me I might be able to get into the US still because apparently Customs Border Control don't share the data with Canada. So who knows? I think about 80,000 uh, freight train obsessed fans just shat themselves in excitement thinking I'm not heading there anytime soon so don't get too excited. It's got a bristly ridge, plan is to go over the top, through the back, over there and then down, that's Egribbin. Just said bye to Mark, he's heading back down to the car because his shoes are falling apart anyway. I'm now heading to Bristly Ridge and I can actually see some people scrambling up and that's given me more confidence because it just looks like two guys they're not roped in or anything ah this is going to be a breeze absolute breeze watch this just past three men who were watching those two lads who are actually coming down Bristly Ridge they were telling me that those lads had gone slightly wrong way so I asked one of them because he's done it before where's the gully I want pointed it out to me so that's a good start he says the gully's a bit easy bit when you get a bit higher you get to two pillars you've got to climb right down 30 feet he said and then climb up the next 30 feet so that sounds like fun yeah that's the one <laughs> those lads are asking me if they're in the right gully I said I've literally never done it in my life but yeah I think you are this is Will and Dave, the two guys that I spotted coming down before when I was like, oh, brilliant, there's other people on there. 
Well, they are actually getting lost coming down, and then they said, oh, that's it, that's I, <laughs> Look at them, everyone, remember their faces. <laughs> They're just glad to be oh, down because cool, you do not want to climb down ridges like this. Yeah, good luck, right, yeah, cheers, Thank lads. So well done for getting down. <laughs> Stay safe. There it is, that's the first bit. Sinister gully. <laughs> Funnily enough, not called sinister because it's actually scary. Sinister because it's on the left. There you go. Some English lessons for you there. The word sinister is only negative because left-handed people used to be seen as negative. What a funny old world we live in. Won't be too many more winters before that shatters and falls. And that, Jesus. I'll be able to trust your grips and I'm gonna slope like that and obviously your hands. <laughs> that rock just shattered when I trod on it. Oh -ho. You gain height real fast on this climb. That helicopter's been flying around all day. I would love to fly over here in a helicopter, preferably not in a search and rescue because I've had an accident. What's he gonna do, land on Triver? Damn it, I'd have loved to have filmed that one was up there. Eases up a bit here, which is nice. Climb down and up again. Ah, yeah, it must be. That's all right. It'd be worse than this. I thought it'd be narrower, like a spider. As long as there's no loose rocks. That guy said it was 30 feet climb down. There's no way. 10 meters. this side. <laughs> huh. Oh, hey, this is the bit they're on about. <laughs> okay, I'll take it back. Um, what did he say? Stick to the highest point. Stick to the crest. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that last bit I said it was. I guess down here makes sense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that's the way up. Because it sure as hell isn't that side. <laughs> Oh, 
There you go, easy. Yeah, it doesn't look very nice, but it's actually all right. You go in 19 minutes. Wow. Yes, yeah, it's the top. Top of Brissy Ridge. That's the top of the scree slope, which I really don't like going down. If you remember when I did the 3000s and someone knocked a rock loose and he smashed my head in. I don't like it at all. However, Bristly Ridge, I do like. Much, much easier than I was expecting, so that's good. Famous cantilever rock, which, uh, <laughs> if you actually stood on it, doesn't make a very good picture. Right, I'll have a look at mine, that. That's the top of the bit of back over there. And I work around the edge, down Gribbin, down to the lake. Not that I really need a map on a day like this when you can see for a hundred miles. Cantilever rock. The Snowdon Massif. I love this angle of it. So still and quiet. No one else around. Let's get this scramble out the way. Down off the gribbin, well, off the scramble part anyway. Now it's easy street, look at this. Anyway, my name's Brave Dave, and I haven't uploaded to YouTube in absolutely ages. Four or five months at least. And that's simply because I haven't done anything worth filming and uploading. It's no big deal, I've been busy building a website, it's gonna make me lots of money, one hopes. We'll see. It's got nothing to do with Brave Dave or anything like that, so never you mind. Oh, look at Trevan. Well, I'm back in Wales for the first time in ages because yesterday I led a couple of people. So that's the first guiding I've done this year and it therefore officially opens up guiding season. So I've got some bookings lined up all over the summer, but there's a lot of weekends that I want to add more people to. So if you want an adventure this summer or even like in the next month, <laughs> spring's good as well. You need to get in contact with me and hire me to lead you around the mountains. I was guiding people yesterday. Big up to Rick and Connor. You both did a great job. Well done. I can see the car. Whee! Just running down the last bit of the mountain to get back to the car. Bump into this guy. Hello Dave, how are you? I'm very well, thanks Robin. Good, good, <laughs> He's good. just up for a wild camp. He just said, Brave Dave, how are you? Good man, like you say, love your YouTube stuff. Love snow down here. I'm looking forward to going home, but I'm also slightly envious that you are camping out tonight because oh, I would love to have a tent out. Stay good safe, to meet Dave. you, mate. Thank you very yeah, much. Mate. You Thank too. You, have a good camp. Down, mate. Cheers. <laughs> That's nice. Third time recognised in one day. Whoop. Look sharp. <laughs> 6 p.m. back in the car, feeling bloody good. I can feel it in my legs. And now I've got a long drive home, but what a fantastic day. I'm going to call this video Brave Dave's fantastic day on and around Trifan. There, you heard it here first. <laughs>